My name is Gillian Del Mundo. I am currently a full-time MBA candidate at the Chinese University of Hong Kong. Prior to the MBA, I was working at L'Oreal as a portfolio executive. So I was responsible for logistics and brand management. And I decided it was a great time to come to the MBA program at UHK to learn more about a new industry as I'm also interested in transitioning to the finance industry. And I thought that UHK would be a great place to network with people and meet people of these backgrounds and understand the industry better. So I decided to pursue this MBA program because firstly, I wanted to network with more people from different industries. Personally, for me, I have an interest in transitioning to the finance career. So I wanted to come back to Hong Kong because previously I was working in Singapore and I wanted to go back to Hong Kong to you know, network with the people in the finance industry as Hong Kong is considered to be a financial hub. I thought there would be a lot of people I could connect with and get a lot of insights on how this industry works works, what kind of career paths are available and see from there. And I knew that CUHK was a great campus to start with because it had a really extensive alumni network, firstly, and they are also well versed in terms of, you know, the finance concepts and they have a lot of academic curriculum surrounding this. So I thought there was a lot of support for this industry. For the academic curriculum, particularly, I thought that what I really enjoyed most about the curriculum was the practical experience that was tied around that. So firstly, in the MBA program, everyone will have previous work experience. So I was able to really learn a lot more outside of the theories that were taught in class. We had a lot of case studies, for example, and a lot of guest speakers that are invited to our courses. And from that, I was able to really get more insights on the reality of different industries or the reality of different business challenges. And it really allowed us to challenge our way of thinking. And also because I was previously in the retail industry, I I think it helped me link the transferable skills to the course itself and see what kind of skills are valuable if I ever do transition to another industry. So it was a lot of this practical learning or, and experiential learning that was really valuable to me. The MBA program really introduces you to a very diverse set of people. And I think that really allows myself to experience what my leadership style is, what my personal self is, because I think initially I had uh, quite a, I thought that I had a clear view of who I was, how I lead people, because I've seen that when I was working. But I think when I came into this program, I was introduced to people from very different cultures from myself and people with very different personalities and working styles and even different goals that they wanted to get from this MBA program. So I think that also brought up another way of working for me and another leadership style. I think sometimes, generally by default, I think I can be a very direct person. I, I tend to be, uh, that tends to be my style and I like being direct and honest with people. But I think people have different preferences with that style. So I also had to learn to, to adapt to that and to adjust myself. So sometimes I have to be more, I would say, I guess more indirect but also try to, to make that message clear regardless. So that was quite a challenge for me, but I think it brought a more adaptable leadership style for myself. Like I think now I learned that I can be adaptable. I know how to empathize with different people and what they want. And I think it has really evolved the way I lead uh, different people and different projects. I decided to leave because I thought it was a great time for me to take the MBA program, firstly, because uh, when I was looking at the, you know, economic landscape, I would say, um, I thought it was a good time for me to explore a different career or a different interest of mine. So even prior to my career, when I was working before the MBA, I did have a strong interest in finance as an industry. Um, so I was actually majoring in the economics field when I was in my undergraduate studies. So I did have this interest beforehand. And I thought that I really wanted to use this time to transition to the field and actually experience it. Because um, of course, like I transitioned to the retail field right after I graduated. And I thought that I did not want to 
missed that chance of exploring where my passion was. And I thought that, you know, it would be a great time to just give myself that second chance and really see if I could make this new career happen. So, you know, I, I really did enjoy the retail industry and I think it really equipped me with the skills that perhaps I lacked when I was still in my undergraduate years. So it equipped me with a lot of uh, analytical skills, but most importantly, my interpersonal skills and soft skills. I was really able to learn how client engagement works, how am I able to communicate with different stakeholders and understand their business goals. And I think that is a really valuable asset that I could bring into this new industry. So I thought that once, because I have developed this kind of skill set, I thought it was a great time to just take the second chance. Uh, I did participate in various activities. One of them was uh, the CFA Research Challenge, which uh, we did in Basically, it's a, um, I believe it was a regional competition. So we're competing with Hong Kong and Macau as well. Um, so I thought that was a great experience for me to, you know, work with people uh, from the MBA program, both part-time and full-time students in the CFA Research Challenge. And we were able to get second runner up for that competition. So that was exciting. I also did participate in different competitions. So that included Mint, which is an impact investment competition. And there's also different associations and clubs that I joined. One in particular was the Students Association. So I am currently the community director for our student associations. So I help with internal affairs and any internal events that we have. And I'm also the student representative of our full-time cohort. So I just try to enjoy as much extracurricular activities as I can uh, because this program is only a year. So I thought it would be a great opportunity to try all of these different things. CHK does a really great job to connect you with very different industries and people that match your preference. So one example is that we have the Elite Mentorship Program. So essentially what that is, is that MBA students can be assigned to a mentor within CHK's alumni network and also people that they are connected to in different industries. So I remember having this uh, requirement or I guess preference for a mentor that had experience in a different industry, preferably retail and maybe transition to something different. Because what I wanted to get away is how were they able to transfer to a different industry from where they had most of their experience in. And secondly, it was also someone who had a more international background because I wanted to, you know, ex expand my career, I suppose, to other uh, countries as well in the future, because I do prefer working in, you know, different cultures and learning about different work styles as well. And I think CHK did a great job in getting those uh, considerations in mind and uh, matching me with a mentor that has at least the closest experience that they did based on my um, suggestions. And we were able to really develop a lot of um, good activities together. So in the elite mentorship program, we had, for example, various dinners, and then we also had time to get coffee with our mentors and really get to have these uh, meaningful conversations with them. So that was the first one. And the second one is also we have the LEAP Advisor Scheme. So this one is also another mentorship program, but the difference is more so that we, I suppose we can network with all the experts that um, QHK has provided us with in this scheme. And so we kind of find out what our preference is, who do we want to talk to more. So it's a lot more flexible compared to the uh, elite mentorship program. But the LEAP advisor scheme is more so, um, I guess you just, you get the entire network and you get to speak with them based on your preferences. And so I thought that was a great way for me to, you know, network with people and also explore new industries. Because I think for my experience, I don't want to just be, you know, only cited in one track specifically. I also want to be open-minded to other fields and other directions that I could possibly explore. So I thought that was a great opportunity for me to see and meet people with similar strengths to mine and similar experiences and see what eventually they shifted to. 
I think Hong Kong is a cosmopolitan city, so I, I would really suggest people to come visit Hong Kong, whether it's on exchange or if it's for their master's degree or their MBA program. Firstly, because you do get to connect with people who have very long and enriching experiences in their career, because a lot of people would tend to move, I guess, to Hong Kong, especially in their more um, senior years of, of their career. So you really get to get a lot of really insightful advice from all these people. And at the same time, you get to meet people from very different cultures. You get to really challenge your understanding and broaden your horizons. So for me personally, I did grow up in Hong Kong and I think every day I get to meet someone new, whether these are people who just moved to Hong Kong or whether these people have been here for many years. I think it's really an insightful way for, for us to really challenge our mindset and our perspectives of thinking. And I think Hong Kong does a great job in finding that bridge for us. I would suggest that Hong Kong is a great place if you are to explore the business world. Firstly, because as a finance hub, that also means that firstly, you can explore the corporate world. If you want to explore the finance industry, Hong Kong is already very developed in that sense. There's a lot of international companies as well as local companies that are here that specialize in finance, but not just finance, but it's also fintech and all these other innovative areas around finance. And secondly, it's also the entrepreneurial world. I think Hong Kong is really greatly developing in that aspect. And in our MBA program, there's a lot of people who have their own businesses and are entrepreneurs. And so Hong Kong is a great way for them to find investors or network with other entrepreneurs that they could collaborate with. So Hong Kong has a very developed site when it comes to both entrepreneurship and both finance. And those are where my interests lie. And I think that's also, if you want to come to Hong Kong, you will find a lot of people who will have the passion in both these areas. It is a very diverse program in the sense where there are a lot of exchange students coming in, but in terms of their cohort or full-time cohort, I meet a lot of peers from mainland China. Uh, for, for my cohort, I am the only person I believe that is from Hong Kong, but not just from Hong Kong, but originated outside of Hong Kong as I'm originally from the Philippines. So at first I thought that, you know, there might be some challenges in terms of, you know, um, learning about different cultures or, you know, having that um, communication barrier but it was really a pleasant surprise to me because even though uh, we had I, I suppose the program has a very similar background in terms of their culture it's very diverse in terms of their careers and their job experience so there's a lot of people for example who are entrepreneurs people who are from the finance industry there are also people from the entertainment industry or uh, also some people from non-governmental organizations. So there's really a vast um, variety of people who come from different experiences. And I think that's also valuable when it comes to having diversity in this program, because to me, it doesn't feel like it's this I'm talking, I'm communicating or networking with people from the same culture, because in a work environment, there is going to be very different cultures in each industry. So I do learn about this cultural diversity in that perspective. And I think also, it's also pleasant to see many exchange students coming in from different countries and also have this kind of spirit of understanding people from their different cultures. And it really allowed the MBA program to be as harmonious as it is and really allows us to take out everyone's strengths in a very unique way. So that's what I really enjoy through this MBA program is that I meet people from industries I never really knew about, and I get to really find a lot of valuable experience and valuable advice from those industries as well, and how that can help me with my own career moving forward.